Namaskar, an Indian greeting for hello and swagatam. Welcome. My name is Kajal Bora and it's an honor to be your guide. This is a sequence for complete beginners. If you are new to yoga or have practiced yoga a few times and want to build on it, this video is for you. I encourage you to have an open mind and give this beautiful practice of yoga a real chance. It truly is transformative. One of yoga's philosophy is the practice of ahimsa, which literally means non-violence or practice of kindness towards all beings, including yourself. Give yourself the permission to modify or skip anything that does not serve you. Be sure to practice kindness towards yourself today. You won't need much except a yoga mat or perhaps a bath towel. You are also welcome to have some pillows around you just for additional support but they are completely optional. So let's begin. Find a comfortable seated pose and you are always welcome to take a pillow underneath your hips or pillows underneath your knees just to get comfortable. Relax your shoulders. Try to draw your spine straight and your chin parallel to the earth. Your arms can be by your side or perhaps draw your left hand onto your energetic heart center and your right hand onto your belly. Invitation to close your eyes or soft gaze to the earth. I invite you to find three cleansing breaths. Taking a deep breath, inhale, fill up your belly, you expand your belly, and then open mouth, exhale, release. Let's do this two more times. Deep breath, inhale, fill up your belly, open mouth, exhale. Inhale, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Just pausing your few more rounds of breaths. Try to connect with your breath. Where you're just following your inhale and your exhale. This will help you arrive on your mat physically and mentally. Just one more round of breath here. And whenever you're ready, very slowly flicker your eyes open. Inhale, sweep your arms up and over. Send your fingers deep into the sky, but keep your shoulders relaxed and perhaps have a big smile on your face. Exhale, hands through the heart center. With your next inhale, bring the tips of your fingers onto your shoulders and take big wide movements with your elbows, drawing your elbows in and out. Slow, gentle movements and then let's reverse direction, drawing your elbows out and in. You can try to bring your elbows as close as possible. One more round. slowly release draw your hands onto your knees now draw your heart your gaze towards the sky just be very mindful of your neck you don't want to strain your neck and exhale chin towards the chest hollow your belly let's do this one more time inhale draw your heart draw your gaze towards the sky you're extending into your spine exhale flex into your spine. Inhale back to neutral. Now drawing your right hand onto your mat, left arm up and over. So the intention here is to get a nice stretch on the left side of your body. You're pushing your right hand into the mat. One more round of breath here. Inhale, exhale, side stretch. Opposite side, this time send your left hand onto the mat. 
right arm up and over. Finding a stretch in the right side of your body. Inhale. Exhale. You're warming up a spine, preparing for the practice. Inhale. This time, draw your arms towards the sky. Exhale, arms to the horizon. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. You can bend your elbows if you need to. Inhale. Exhale, twist your right arm, sending your right arm behind you. Now you can gaze towards the front or to the side. If you don't have any sensitivity in your neck, then gaze towards the back fingers to enjoy that additional twist. Inhale, draw your right arm back towards the front. Exhale, send your left arm behind. One more knot, each side, inhale, exhale, enjoy this twist. One last side, inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, draw your arms towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart center, just take a moment. With your next inhale, come into a table pose where you are drawing your hands to the mat. Your wrists are underneath your shoulders in a single line and your knees are hip width apart. Hip width is about two fists between your knees. Make sure you're spreading your fingers wide and you can tuck your toes for additional stretch. Now, whenever you're ready, draw your heart, draw your gaze towards the sky. This is your traditional cow pose, Bittanasana. Exhale, push the earth away, chin towards the chest. That's your cat pose, Marjari Asana. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, draw your heart towards the sky. Exhale, flex into your cat. One last time. Inhale. inhale back to center now send your hands towards the front of the mat send your knees slightly towards the back and come on all the way down to your mat now your wrists are underneath your shoulders release the tops of your feet push the tops of your feet into the mat and slowly lift your shoulders first few rib cages your gaze is towards the front of your mat this is your baby cobra puja Exhale, release. Let's do this one more time. Push the tops of your feet into the mat and lift up very so slightly. Gaze is again front of the mat. Exhale, release. Now push your hands into the mat. Slowly lift up. Find your way to child's pose where you're drawing your knees wide. Toes touch behind you. Sending your forehead towards the mat. You're always welcome to use a pillow underneath your forehead for additional support. Relaxed shoulders. This is your child's pose balasana. Connect back with your breath here. Follow one round of your inhale and your exhale. You can stay right here or perhaps make this an active child's pose by crawling your fingers towards the front of the mat but keeping your shoulders relaxed, perhaps lifting your forearms and your elbows. Just one more round of breath here. Inhale. Exhale. With your next inhale, very slowly rise up. Now draw your knees closer. Tuck your toes. Push your hands into the mat and very slowly send your hips towards the sky to find your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now, if this is too much for you, you are always welcome to release your knees back to the mat and come into that table pose. Very slowly come back into downward facing dog if you are up for it and take a break rest back into your table so see what feels good in your body if you are in a downward facing dog make sure you're spreading your fingers wide 
sending your heels towards the mat as much as you can. Your heels don't have to touch the mat. We'll be here for just one more round of breath. You're building your shoulder, your arm strength. It's a beautiful pose. It helps you strengthen and lengthen your body. One more round of breath. Inhale. Exhale. And then bend your knees, gaze towards the front of the mat and take as many steps as you need to come on all the way to the front. As much as you can and very slowly, one vertebra at a time, rise up. Slowly, slowest movement you've taken all day today. Slow, slow, slow. Whenever you come on, inhale, sweep your arms up and over. Again, gaze towards the sky, perhaps just a smile on your face. Exhale, hands to the heart center and just take a moment. Take a moment. See how you feel. Invitation to close your eyes or soft gaze to the earth. Just take a moment. Slowly flicker your eyes open. Draw your right arm behind you, lift your left arm up and over to find the side stretch. Keeping that shoulder relaxed, inhale rise, exhale side stretch on the opposite side. This time inhale, draw your arms towards the sky, exhale arms back to the horizon. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, twist, sending your right arm behind you. Again, gaze can be anywhere comfortable for your neck. Inhale, arm, right arm back towards the front. Exhale, twist to the opposite side. Inhale, back to center. One more round to each side. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Now join your hands to your waist. Join your hands to your waist. Draw your feet hip width apart. Send your right foot behind you. So this is your warrior one stance where you're trying to create a bend in your front knee, but make sure your hips are square, which means you're sending your left hip back, right hip front. Now to make this pose easier, you can bring your back foot closer towards your front. To make this challenging, send your back foot away from you and perhaps go deep into that lunge. Again, your hips are still. Hands can stay right on your waist for additional stability or perhaps draw your arms towards the sky. You can gaze towards the sky only if it's comfortable for your neck. But again, make sure your shoulders are relaxed. This is your warrior one pose, Veer Patrasana Ek. You are going to stay here for one more round of breath and perhaps challenge yourself by going deeper into that front knee. Only if it's available to you. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Draw your hands back to your waist and adjust your stance to find your warrior two, which means your front toes and your front knee as in one line, your left toes and your left knee. And your right foot is 90 degrees parallel to the short edge of your mat. Now you can straighten your front knee and perhaps find that depth. Now you are welcome to stay right here with your hands on your waist or perhaps draw your arms to the horizon to find your warrior two. Shoulders relaxed. Just one round of breath here. Inhale. Exhale. This is your warrior two. Stand Virabhadrasana on the proud chest. Exhale, hands back onto your waist, slowly straighten your front knee and toe heel your foot slowly to bring your foot all the way to the front of the mat. Now again, make sure your feet are hip width apart and we will take the same sequence on the other side by sending your left foot behind you this time. Now make sure your left foot is 45 degrees and create a bend in your front knee. If this is too much for you, you can bring your back foot closer towards the front or to make this challenging, draw your foot, left foot away and create additional bend in your right knee. 
you are going to stay right here or perhaps draw your arms, your gaze towards the horizon. This is your warrior one, wheel of Vidasana, eight expression on the other side. Again, make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Just one round of breath here. Inhale. Exhale, hands back onto your waist. Adjust your stance to find your warrior two. Drawing your front toes to point towards the front mat. And your back foot is 90 degrees. Your front heel is in line with your back arch or your back heel. Your hands can stay at your waist or draw your arms to the horizon to find your warrior two in this side. Again, keeping your shoulders relaxed, arms in a straight line as much as you can and perhaps a soft gaze in your front fingertips. Inhale. Exhale. Your next inhale, hands back onto your waist. So heel your back foot to bring it closer and coming back to the front of the mat. Exhale, hands to the heart Coming back to the front of the mat and just drawing your arms by your side, palms facing front. You can make sure your shoulders are relaxed, finding your mountain pose that asana. Grounding down through your feet, drawing your spine straight and just take few rounds of breaths here, invitation to close your eyes, a soft gaze to the world. Breathe, connect back with your breath. Try to listen to the sound of your breath, which is very meditative. Congratulations on making this far. We just went through a set of basic yoga poses and if you struggle through it, know that you will get better at it after every practice. I recommend you try this sequence daily for about 7 to 10 days and see how you feel. See you next time.